first thing we're going to talk about is using variables. So if you prime ChatGTP with your variables, then you can make changes to components later on in the particular string and not have to go back and start everything from the beginning. Okay, so this is part two. In the first part, I talked about creating a table that gives you different opportunities to explore and try different components of, in this case, a joke or a stand-up comedy routine. Uh, I also talked about creating a reference point or you know, samples that ChatGPT can use to see what sort of style you prefer. So now with that, we're gonna get into the next level, uh, which is a bit more sophisticated, but I think it's manageable. The first thing we do is just say, I'm gonna provide you with several variables that I will define via the following equals variable in brackets. I want you to remember these variables for later use. Then we'll use these variables to create specific content that I request. And this is important. Please confirm you understand these instructions by responding red and we will proceed to the next step. So you're essentially saying ChatGTP, I need you to ingest this stuff, but we're, keep, we're doing more stuff here, so hang tight before you start writing anything. So it of course responds with red. What I next do is I create a variable and I define it. So in this case, I'm taking a sample of some stand-up comedy that I like from Nick Brigazzi, and so I write, I want you to store the following example of stand-up comedy in the variable Nate01. And what I do for that, of course, is I go over to YouTube. Again, if you watched the earlier videos, you see that I just pulled this transcription, uh, which is just a quick add-on Chrome extension. And then from there, I drop that in, so I then say Nate01 equals, and I start with the quotes, and I populate that whole um, bit in here. You can see here at the bottom, ChatGTP responds with, I've stored the example of stand-up comedy in the variable Nate1 as requested. Please not let me know how you'd like to proceed or use this variable in the future. So, cool thing, now I can add other variables. So what I'm gonna do here is go to this uh, Jim Gaffigan stand-up routine. I'm gonna grab some of the text from this one where he's talking about Hot Pockets. I'm gonna drop it in as the variable Jim1. Uh, and so you can see the entire text of this little bit here that I like. And then you can see in the reference here that he stored both Nate and Jim. So then we go for a third variable, and this one's gonna be called John1, and this is John Mulaney doing a stand-up routine for Saturday Night Live. I grab the part that I like from that one, drop it in, and now I've got three variables that ChatGPT can reference later, and I can decide, do I want Chat to use John1, or Jim1, or Nate1, or a combination of all three, and so I have that flexibility to make those changes later on without having to kind of reprime or restart. Now that you have these variables ingested, representing different styles of humor, please act as a professional stand-up comedian, so I'm doing that persona thing here that we see typically. Based on the variable styles, John1 and Nate1, please write an original stand-up comedy routine with the following components. So, I can grab from the comedy table that I, uh, this is the prior chat from the prior video, I created this table with uh, different headers, introduction, initial observation, exaggeration, absurd suggestions, and listing friends, right? And in this case, I've asked it to, to um, start talking about owning a pet giraffe, and uh, so it's given me all these various suggestions for you know writing something funny about owning a pet giraffe. So I've dropped those things in here with again the two variables from two of the three variables from before, John and Nate. And now I have owning a pet giraffe, having unique spots, friends hosting a drink, wine, and paint party to create a customized giraffe, essentially, right? And so you can see the bit that it comes up with based on this. And it's really slick because, let's say I wanna change these components, giraffes are tall, taller than a house, building a ladder to ride it, asking friends to hold the ladder, totally different components, totally different comedy routine, um, but still references variable one and variable two. And if I wanted to say reference variable gym one, I can do that as well, and I don't have to make any other changes. I have it all right here. So that sort of priming is gonna give you a ton more opportunity to uh, have flexibility without having to leave your chat string and just find better results that more align with what you're looking for. I hope that helps.
as usual, I'm going to put this all on my website so you can just go straight there, download the content, and drop it straight into ChatGPT, and try it out, which I'll put the link directly here. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.